The easiest way to bind data to a control on a page is to use a data source control. There are a few of these in the data category of the toolbox, but in this lesson, you're going to use the link data source control. The link data source control retrieves data using link to SQL classes. To begin, open the Spark sample file from your sample files folder. And open newtransaction.aspx in design view. Now, we are going to add a link data source control to the page. You can find it in the data category of the toolbox. Place it just before the customer drop down. You are placing the link data source control near the control it is going to populate. But the placement of a data source control doesn't matter. Data sources aren't visible to people viewing the page, so you can put them wherever seems most logical. Now we are going to configure the link data source control. First, Set its ID property to Link Data Source Customer. And now click Configure Data Source from the Quick Tasks menu of the control. In the first step of configuration, you select which link data context to use. Since you have only one, it should already be selected. If it isn't, select spark.sparkdatacontext from the drop-down menu. Now click Next. This data source is going to retrieve a list of customers for the drop-down list customer control, so select the Customers table from the Table drop-down. Next, click Order By. This dialog is used to configure sorting. Sorting works in exactly the same way as using the Order By and order by descending methods in link. You learned about these in Lesson 10.5. Select Customer Name and Ascending. Then click OK. Your results will now be sorted by Customer Name in alphabetical order. Now click Where. This dialog is used to configure query criteria, which work in the same way as the single and where methods in Link, which you learned about in Lesson 10.3. Select Customer ID from the Column drop-down. This tells the link data source control that Customer ID is the database column you want to use for your criteria. Now select exclamation mark equals from the Operator drop-down. This is the Does Not Equal operator. You learned about it in Lesson 7.3. Now select None from the Source drop-down. The Source drop-down 
allows you to tell your data source to retrieve a value from several different sources. In this case, you want a value that doesn't change. None allows you to type in the value you want to use. The other source options work as follows. Control retrieves a value from a control on the page. Cookie retrieves a value from a cookie. Form retrieves a value from page.request.form. Profile retrieves a value from a user profile. Query string retrieves a value from page.request.query string. Session retrieves a value from a session variable. And root retrieves a value from a URL. Now enter 5 into the value text box. And click add. Your new parameter has now been added. This data source will now retrieve everything from the customer table except for customer ID 5. Click OK now and click Finish. You've now completed Lesson 11 1. Use the link data source control.